Hey YouTube, this is Engineer775 out here on a cold night. It's cold for South Carolina. It's uh, going to be about 24 degrees. It's not quite there yet. But it's getting cold and I'm just out here making some uh, fuel for um, the gasifier. And you're going to say this is probably crazy, but uh, I wanted to be able to do it. This is just taking wood from our property here and converting it into electricity. And um, even if I didn't have a chainsaw or any way to any chipper, um, could I do this manually? So I know this is crazy, but uh, you see this two-man saw behind me. You see my my little small maul and my hatchet here. I've had these for oh, I guess 15 years. These are the best. Uh, <laughs> these are snow and Neely. Um, this is comes as a set. I know they look old while well, I've been using them over and over and over. Um, I had I like to throw axes and I shouldn't have done that but I busted this one throwing it. This is the best hatchet and uh, and uh, that's my opinion. Snow and Neely. Um, not making any money off of that. I just um, t this these are the best uh, best steel, best handles, good hickory handles. But the nicest thing about them is you see the ends they're, they don't slip out of your hands, and that's good when you're doing uh, silly things like I'm about to do. So, what am I doing? You see this grease drum here? I fill it with wood. So I take these rounds that I've cut, and then I, uh, I take I bust them up with a maul, and then I take my hatchet and I start. It's like processing meat. Uh, and I just take. My gasifier runs great. This is white oak. It runs great on blocks. And so I just make blocks of wood. Yeah, it takes a long time. You say it might be crazy, but I can take, um, let's see, that's about three pounds. Three pounds of white oak or hickory. That's one kilowatt of electricity, believe it or not. And so I'm just out here making kilowatts. Killing some watts here. And just take the wood out. I don't know if that's going to come out okay on video, but it might not be the, the safest way to do that. And I'm going to get some comments on this. But I've been doing this for a long time. Don't try this at home. But I make blocks. And sometimes you get some pretty good knots, and you got to work work on it. But uh, just me making making fuel for the gasifier. Just like chopping meat. And some of my catch I throw in the bucket there. And then I will put that in the outdoor wood heater to make uh, to burn some of the moisture off of it. So anyway, I can convert any tree on the property to uh, electricity. Again, Small chips don't work well in my gasifier. This it does great. I've tried a lot of different things, and I'm working on a process to do this in a smarter way. But I started with what I had, and I can do this. And so, uh, before I go to bed, I make some fuel. Pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> oh, I kind of enjoy it. Sometimes my daughters come out and join me. They're in bed now, but they'll actually fill the bucket up. I don't let them obviously use the hatchet. My son wants to, but uh, one of those hard things. When do you let them start to try to use something like this? This is very dangerous. This is a super sharp hatchet. All right. Okay. But I kind of. I grew up around wood, grew up cutting wood. Everybody in my family burns wood. So it's just something I, you get used to growing up. So, again, be very careful if you do this kind of stuff. Because one miss and bye bye fingers. So, this is how when you see. I guess that thing just is beeping at me. Well, I guess it's still going. So when you see my truck running on on uh, wood, 
Yep, this, you got to prepare the wood. And I can run about on a full uh, grease drum there. I can run about, uh, that one is about an hour and 40 minutes on, uh, at 1800 RPMs on a six cylinder Ford. I got a 223 in that truck, so there are more efficient engines, but that one was easy to gasify. Again, I got a, a batch in the stove right now of this being torrified, burning the moisture off of this to make it uh, improve the quality of the fuel. And I like to use, uh, I'm fortunate I have a lot of oak here, a lot of hickory, and they have the highest, the highest density. The higher density the wood, the more gas is in the wood. Again, what gases are hydrogen, carbon monoxide, those are basically your two. The synthesis gas is burning. A lot of other gases, there's five gases, but the combustible gases are uh, hydrogen and carbon monoxide. And uh, there are some really neat chippers, and there's a process I'm working on and to, to just be able to drop a whole tree in, uh, in this process and, and come out with chunks. I need to make chunks. If you know of a way to make chunks, a creative way, a new way, or maybe it's a way that I haven't seen to make chunks of wood out of any size tree, I would love any ideas. I would appreciate any ideas you would have because uh, I hope you're feeling my pain. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually enjoy doing this. And uh, the enjoyment is when you have done this and you drive past the gas station. Or um, you've made electricity and you've run your house off of wood. Anyway, that's enjoyable to me and satisfying. So anyway, time to get another round in here. And some of these are some big ones. And I take the two, I take the uh, two-pound mall and bust these up like so. Put them in half. And then I go to the hatchet and make my slices like, like so. And then I make a piece like that. And then I can chop it. Don't the chop of the fingers. And you just get used to reading the grains and seeing which way to split the wood, as you do with anything. And make these little ah, little pieces and chop away. Okay. And when I get real tired, I know when I need to quit because this is not wise. But keep it warm anyway. I know, I know. Chopping wood. Get twice, Henry Ford. All right, YouTube. I guess that's you've seen enough of this silly preparation. But I know you've seen the truck, you've seen the generator, you've seen the wood gas stoves. And um, anyway, this is this is wood from out back. I didn't go to sawmill. I didn't get the any lumber or just some white oak ends off of some firewood. It's pretty nice wood actually, but it was falling across my fence line, so I had to get down, so anyway. Okay. I think that's about enough. I'm going to check on that batch that's in the stove. Anyway, this is the, it's been enjoyable to go from uh, trees to driving on them, to cooking on them, to making electricity on them, do a lot of things off of this product. Again, I, I call this a solar battery. This uh, the trees have converted solar energy into a storage of, of gases and you need to 
uh, use gasification to extract the energy out of it. Uh, obviously burning, uh, you heating your house, whatever, with a wood stove, you're getting the energy out of it. But there are gases, and that's really what's burning. People don't realize. People say the wood is burning. Well, no. The gases in the wood are burning. And that, anyway. That's just the way it is. Alright, I think I'm done. I made two batches, two barrel fulls, and this one's about half full. And I've had about enough. So, again, Snow and Neely. A little mini maul, about two pound maul there. And this hatchet is awesome. I got about 15 years of using it. I see the handles, real skinny, and then they just do not slip out of your hand. Again, this one is a maul, it don't stick. See the difference between the hatchet and the maul. A good hickory chopping block, and a comfortable chair, and uh, making electricity from wood. All right, any questions, comments, fire away. God bless you.